It is bright, bright out here. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. I don't know when you're watching this, but welcome to a new video. My name is Kayla, also known as Kayla Fit. New video every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Make sure you are like, make sure you subscribe, turn that notification bell on. Freaking people who clean the, what's it called, like cutting grass. Look what they did in my car this morning. Why? So shout out to them for that. People just looked at me so weird. I'll never understand why like people look so weirdly at me when I'm videotaping. Don't you videotape your granddaughter doing fun stuff? This is me videotaping my life of fun stuff. They just stare at me. Like, sir, you're wearing the weirdest colors. Don't look at me. You should be looking at yourself, sir. Okay. So this video, we're gonna go over my blood work. It's not good, unfortunately. We're gonna have to go into a four to eight week phase of fixing all that BS, which we're gonna dive deep into later. I'm gonna have Dan take you guys through my blood work. Hopefully he can be a little bit not as scientific for you guys. If you watched my previous blood work video, a lot of you guys were like, he is speaking gibberish because he does use a lot of big words and terms. That is his area of study and he loves it. So to him, it's common knowledge but to others it may not be right even to me sometimes I'm like what are you saying but that's okay lots of big changes because of the bad blood work and the direction I need to go in in order to be able to prep so we have to push all of that off to fix this I don't know if I'll be training today because of blood work I've mentally been in a poop hole it happens you know I won't even lie last night definitely emotionally ate and I'm not like saying that is okay to do I'm just being honest with what I struggled with just know that my testosterone is non-existent Day. That's why I've been feeling like shit. So I need to go get Starbucks and typically I get Dutch Bros Especially when I'm, I'm in Austin right now to see Dan Hi. Got greens and glozies going down you guys know my GGG greens glows grind if you're new here I take this every morning. Glow helps with skin, hair, nail growth, complexion, etc. There is a new version coming out. Pill form uh, or in powder form this month, I think the 25th. Greens, there is a green and red profile in here. As you guys know, I clearly don't get my vegetables. This doesn't make up for not eating vegetables. Definitely helps with my digestion. That's my little concoction, nice and simple. I need to show you guys how I slept last night because I was so tired and too lazy. <laughs> I was way too lazy to put my sheet on, like way, way, way. Too. And I just washed my comforter, so it's all wrinkly. Let me be. So yeah, it's my point at. How did you get so bofo? Wee 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 wee. Last you gonna wear again. A little update on these treats. If you guys watch all the videos, they do not like them at all, at all. So instead, what I do, look at him. They're the same, bud. You're not gonna eat them. But what I've been doing is I sneak them into their food bowl and then they just eat them because they think they're normal food. So joke's on them, specifically Mac. He knows, he's not dumb. I come back and they're all eaten, so. He don't even know that mama finessed his ass. <laughs> Faith convinced me to get this new Starbucks order. So I'm gonna show you guys what it is. You can share your orders through text messaging. That's cool, didn't even know that. Like look, she literally just sent me this whole order and it popped up into my app. The size of an espresso, dopio, solo, do dopio? You baristas have, but me, I'm like, what is that? Dopio. Blonde roast, two shots. Ooh. Ice ground it up. So she did a long order because this is a cheaper way of doing it. Smart girl. Two pumps of pistachio. Shotty, let's go to one. We don't need all those calories. Three pumps sugar-free. Faith, we don't need all that. We're gonna go down to two. Vanilla sweet cream cold foam. Okay, splash of oat milk. All right, add order. Ba -bum -ba. Um, somebody pick up 10.03. Damn, I got some time to kill. Gonna chill in the car for a little bit. Yeah, you guys loved last video, so I appreciate the love. Now I'm just rambling. I'm just rumbling, rumbling, rumbling. Cinematic mode is crazy, bro. What the frick? Not me like sitting there. Where is me coffee? I'm so sorry, I don't act like that. I checked and there was no nothing by my name. And I look again and it was my drink sitting there. But it was by G. But my says K. Someone was a little confused on the alphabet today. I just want to express I really love vlogging. I love it. I just love like I feel like I get to just hang out with you guys. You know what I mean? Like how cool is that? That I have over 20,000 of you friends here on YouTube and I think that is like the coolest thing ever because I just get to share my life and my struggles and my good times, my bad times, travel, whatever. You guys know my Java socks is my bestie because I hate condensation. Okay. I just brushed my teeth. 
I think it's good. I just like can't tell. I don't know. I feel like it's because I brush brush my teeth. I'm a dingy dude. Ding ding doop doop. All right, gonna run to the gas station. So I burned my finger. I grabbed my straightener. I, within 30 seconds of turning my straightener on, I grabbed it, not thinking it would be super hot already, and it was already like 300 degrees, and so I burned this part of my finger. Never in my life have I ever burned my finger on something like a straightener, so. All right, let's go to the gas station quick and get some drinkies for the daisy. Plenty, plenty of hours later. We're at Collective, which is a sick gym in Austin that Dan goes to, especially for recovery aspects. So he's forced me to do an ice bath for your guys' pleasure. He said to do it for the tubes. So for that reason, you guys are about to experience my pain. You guys haven't seen this since prep. And if you're new here, you haven't seen this at all. So enjoy my pain. Just kidding. You guys aren't going to see me do an ice bath because we thought that I would just be able to come in here and he gets like one guest pass a month because the membership here is $400. Yeah, I know that's ridiculous, uh, but technically for us it's a write-off because of our businesses, but uh, a day pass for me to be in here would be basically um, like $50 for me to just sit in an ice bath for five minutes. Not worth it to me. You guys get to see him in an ice bath. Yes, you get to watch me suffer. These are like bougie. I don't know how much these things cost. Probably like over 10K probably. They're super fancy. Look at that. You can control the temperature. Yeah. Eventually we're gonna get one of these for our house, which we don't have right now, but eventually we'll have one in this house and in the house that we live in. It'll be really, really nice. Even though I hate it so much. He does like eight minutes in there. I was only gonna do five minutes because five minutes is good for like a first timer, but he likes doing, you do eight minutes or do you do 10 minutes or eight? Eight. It's eight minutes, so. Yeah. So we'll see. Temperature on them says 42 degrees and that's Fahrenheit for those of you that are in other countries. the next day and I want to basically hand it over to Dan and kind of take you guys through my blood work and just the things that aren't good and then just the direction we're gonna be going in moving forward. Once all my supplements come in, I'll take you through all of that. Right now, he's just gonna kind of take you through um, and just some of the minor adjustments like training, calories, etc. Okay, so yeah, we are going to kind of go through Kayla's blood work and kind of showcase not everything, but pretty much what is really the main kind of issues kind of moving forward and some of the major adjustments that we do need to make. So the biggest thing that we're kind of seeing here is some type of very minimalistic amount of like adrenal insufficiency. So if we look at like her DHEA um, and her cortisol, her DHEA is pretty low. It's at a 199 uh, micrograms per deciliter. So it is kind of on the lower end, especially for her age. And then in turn, her testosterone is kind of very low as well. And we can see that the reason why, like, and obviously her sex hormones are kind of like all jumbled up all over the place. And the biggest thing is just her testosterone. It is really low. Her total's at a 14 nanograms per deciliter. Her free is only at a 0.5 picograms per milliliter. So it is very, very low for someone her age, which it should be somewhere on like a 30 or 40, or maybe even a 50 to some degree and it just depends on the individual and the genetics component so her testosterone is very low but it's not really the reason as to you know from her pituitary because she's not getting enough signaling you know through those sort of sort of pathways it's really just due to her adrenal gland or anything because as a female females produce about 90 you know 90 percent 85 percent of testosterone from the adrenal glands themselves and more specifically through that dhea hormone itself so that's kind of one the main kind of issue going forward here her dhea kind of being a little bit low end testosterone of course in turn being very low and their cortisol as well was kind of on the low end as well it's at a seven Point one first thing in the morning reading and a microgram per deciliter reading. So that is pretty low. Someone, an average cortisol range for an average individual, for someone like that, it should be somewhere around a 10 to like a 15 in the morning. Again, very kind of independent and individual based. So she obviously has been overdoing a lot of caffeine for a long time, overtraining, being in a perpetual deficit for the last like six months because she hasn't really been tracking. She's just kind of been eating as her hunger is kind of, you know, giving her certain cues. So that plays a big role. So, you know, being in a deficit, overstressing your body, not taking enough time for herself, doing a lot of caffeine every single day. She doesn't start a day without some type of coffee or something. 
and then she's pre-workout as well, it becomes a little bit of a problem over time. You know, and that's kind of where the adrenal, you know, glands can be very sensitive to this type of things. And if you don't give it enough break, don't give your body a chance to kind of recover, that's where you can kind of keep digging yourself into a hole. And over time, you know, this is not a very abnormal case that I've seen with a lot of females and males sometimes when they just overdo it and don't give their body a chance to kind of reset and recover. So that's really the biggest thing is you see adrenal insufficiency come out and then in turn leading into a low testosterone levels mainly from that. It also does have some estrogen dominance too. So her estrogen is estradiol, which is one form of her estrogen. The other two are not really important at this time in her life, which is at a 271 peak grams per milliliter, which is extremely high, not in and of itself, like one dimensionally very high. It's just high in comparison to her progesterone and her progesterone is at a 0.5 um, nanograms per milliliter. So the ratio is off. Her estrogen is really high, but her progesterone is low, you know, sort of the mid range. So that's kind of where we need to pump up the progesterone a little bit more, drive down the estradiol. And that we can do just through supplemental additions, like something like DIM, indole 3 carbonyl that's going to help metabolize estrogen a lot faster out of the body. We can supplement with chase berry. That's going to help drive up more luteinizing hormone to increase her progesterone. And then we can supplement with some adrenal bovine glandular extracts to kind of get her adrenals to start pumping naturally again. So that's really what we're going to be doing in terms of the supplemental context. But we'll pull back training. We'll pull back all the caffeine. She's going to suck because she loves coffee. And we're going to, you know, try to pull back some of the intensity in the training as well, outside of just the total amount of training and volume that we're doing per week. Have her focus more on just time for herself, just focus on rest and recovery, stress management, you know, these things that are going to give her body a chance to kind of recover and get her own natural energy to start functioning again. And that should kind of all work all together in one. So everything else is pretty much good. Yeah, her vitamin D was low, but she hasn't been taking vitamin D for a very long time. Obviously that will kind of play a little bit of a role too when it comes to her actual hormone production and testosterone and a lot as well. So yeah, those, those were kind of the biggest things by far. I know her thyroid was a little bit overactive, but that was just due to the fact she was using a thyroid glandular extract as well. Based off of her symptoms before, that's what she, you know, we felt like she needed to use, but clearly she doesn't because now she has a very, very high T3 level, a little bit too high than it needs to be. Her TSH is so low because the body's just like, oh, well, I have so much. I don't really need to produce anything. No more signaling pathways from the pituitary to the to the thyroid gland. So again, that, that's a pretty easy thing. We can just take it out. Yeah, those are pretty much the biggest things. It's, it shouldn't take more than like a month or two. Pretty much get her body back to a normal state again. It's not very, very, in a very deep hole. It's not as bad as it sometimes I have seen before with other people. Sometimes, you know, depending on how bad the adrenal, you know, insufficiency component is or, you know, the estrogen dominance, sometimes it could take six months to a year. So again, it just depends on how bad your body is and how long it might take to kind of recover all these things. So. Everyone's comment, thanks coach Dan. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I know some of you guys don't really care about any of this, but I know there is some of you guys out there that really do and do want to be educated on it. And I am a fitness and health channel at the end of the day, even if I'm lifestyle. So if this can benefit anyone, hopefully it does. If you guys have any questions, especially because first time when I ordered blood work and did the video, I had a lot of DMs of people asking, how do I get blood work? You know, how do I do private testing? Could Dan read my blood work, etc.? He can do all of that. He can help you guide you guys through that. So you can DM me. Yes, of course, but Dan's DMs are open. I will have his coaching link before um, below he's coached me my entire career for five years so if you guys want more info on that you can click the link in the description and shoot him a dm if you have any questions on that but i love you guys so much thank you for watching this video i've definitely been struggling the past 48 hours since going through the blood work it, it sucks um one giving up caffeine two not being able to start a prep and a cut right away like i thought i would so kind of having to push that off one to two months like dan said it could be worse but it sucks a little bit drop a like make sure to subscribe new video every monday wednesday friday as always, remember to control the controllable and believe in yourself is half the damn battle. Peace. Nanny, Nanny, I say goodbye. Oh, nice. Rated our content, Nanny. Loafy, shloafy. Also reading this book and it is so good, I'm obsessed. I am skirting through it. I just started it yesterday, look at that. Skirting. Okay, bye.